بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈیز کلاس دس از بائی کیمسٹری ٹو کورس اینڈ کوڈ کیم 342 ٹوڈے وی آر ہیونگ لیکچر 38 اینڈ اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از وٹامن سی وچ از آلسو کالڈ اسکاربک ایسڈ This is your teacher, Dr. Naeem Khan, Associate Professor, Department of Chemistry, GUST. Outlines for today's topic include chemistry of vitamin C. We will discuss about the chemistry of ascorbic acid, about its structure and composition uh, and its structural composition then we will highlight the metabolism of vitamin c how vitamin vitamin c uh, undergoes changes uh, within the body then we will uh, highlight the important sources of vitamin c and uh, then we will explain the uh, human requirements specified for the vitamin C intake and at the end we will elaborate the important functions known for vitamin C. So let to have a start. Chemistry of ascorbic acid, vitamin C. Ascorbic acid which is also called vitamin C actually cures scurvy disease and uh, therefore it is also commonly known as anti scorbutic factor a factor that is uh, anti scorbic which is uh, against the uh, scorbic factor so it is something which is uh, preventing uh, scurvy that's why it is called anti scorbutic factor molecular formula of vitamin c is c6 h8 o6 just like the c6 compound we commonly uh, know in biochemistry hexoses so is a sort of hexose sugar uh, ascorbic acid so it definitely it will be having acid group It is actually derivative of hexose, which is known as uh, gulose. So actually it is derived from gulose sugar, which is uh, basically hexose in its composition. Chemically, ascorbic acid is uh, 1, 3, oh, 2, 4, 5, oh, 6, pentahexene. two carboxylic acid lactone basically it is having a lactone sugar that is having a ketone group in the ring and its chemistry chemical structure is one which is three o and two four five six pentahexene there is a five of uh, double bond and actually the structure is a six carbon and having carboxylic acid as well if we can see the structure look this is the ring uh, in the ring and we have the ketone group basically this is called lactone and uh, we are having uh, one two four five six uh, Penti, pentoxy hexene pentoxy hexene. actually we have five uh, hydroxyl group uh, that this group is still broken here if it is broken this will be oh so one two three four five and six we have five uh, pentoxy hexene and this is basically carboxylic acid ascorbic acid is having this structure uh redox potential of ascorbic acid is due to the hydroxyl and carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 with double bond in between 
this funct uh, main function of the redox reaction is because of this uh, uh, part. The OH group at carbon number two and OH group at carbon number ten also having double bond between these two carbons. This uh, structure can be traced in the gel chain biochemistry. Once again, to repeat, ascorbic acid or vitamin C is known as anti scorbutic factor. Why? Because it is curing scurvy disease. So, this is the common name given. From the molecular formula, we can say it is just like a C6 hexo sugar. Basically, it is the derivative of glucose hexo sugar. Common uh, hexo sugar. From the chemical point of view, uh, ascorbic acid is uh, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6 pentoxyhexene 2 carboxylic acid lactone. And its potential uh, of the redox reaction is because of the having OH groups at carbon number 2 and carbon number 3, and also these two carbons having double bond. Coming to the metabolism of ascorbic acid, higher plants and all known mammals except human, primates, and guinea pig, these can synthesize ascorbic acid from l glulonolactone l glulonolactone can be uh, converted to ascorbic acid in all plants higher plants and mammals but uh, humans primates and guinea pig cannot do this this is the scheme by which actually it is uh, converted this is l glulonolactone basically this is the started but if we can start this from the glucose actually glucose is a hexose sugar it can be converted to glucuronic acid and then glucuronic acid and later on it can be converted to glonolactone onward up to this stage the same this is even possible in the human primates and guinea pig but onward to the glonolactone when it is converted to 2 keto l glonolactone and then ascorbic acid, this enzyme, glonooxidase enzyme, is actually missing in the human primates in guinea pig, and that's why they are animal. Anyway, by this scheme, ascorbic acid is synthesized by the higher plants and uh, all mammals, with the exceptions of humans, primates, and guinea pigs. This uh, scheme can be traced in the GLGN biochemistry. Here it is mentioned that actually humans, men, uh, lack the enzyme l oxidase and therefore not capable to synthesize this vitamin. So this vitamin cannot be synthesized in the human body, which means it is required to be taken from outside through food. Metabolism, ascorbic acid can be synthesized, can be oxidized to dehydroascorbic acid, which can be reduced back to ascorbic acid. This is a sort of reaction. Ascorbic acid by oxidation gives dehydroascorbic acid when it loses two hydrogen atoms. And we get the two hydrogen atoms from the carbon number two and carbon number three are removed. And these can be used for the reduction of other species. So that's why it can be called as a reducing agent. But this two hydrogen can be baked, accepted from any other good reducing agent. So it will be then called as oxidizing agent. And when it gets the two hydrogen atom, it will be baked, converted to ascorbic acid. This sort of reaction is explaining how ascorbic acid is involved in the redox reactions. Look. As we explained in the slide number one, this carbon number two and carbon number three is having double bond and also they are having uh, OH groups attached. So these two hydrogen atoms, if lost, I mean passed to other substances, they will be reduced 
and this vitamin C is converted to dehydroscorbic acid and we can say that it is reducing agent and in this form it can accept hydrogen bake and can be converted to a bake to ascorbic acid so we can say that in return it is playing the role of uh, oxidizing agent so we can say vitamin c is involved in the redox reactions this scheme is also from the jn book ascorbic acid and dehydroscorbic acid occurs in plasma at the ratio of 15 to 1 and both forms are biologically active for metabolic reaction the metabolic functions known for vitamin c uh, can be played by both forms they are both are active for and uh, their ratio is 15 to 1 mean 15 times is carbic acid form and one time in the dehydrous carbic acid form but the good thing is two both the forms are uh, Active form for the biological functions known for vitamin C. The dehydroscorbic acid formed by the oxidation from ascorbic acid is when hydrated. Here we can see by hydrate, if it hydrated, we get 2 3 diketo L gluconic acid, glucuronic acid. 2 3 diketo, this is because we have two ketone groups, glucuronic acid, which is inactive and cannot be converted back. Here we saw that ascorbic acid by oxidation losing two hydrogen is converted to dehydroscorbic acid and if it is hydrolyzed it is converted to 2,3-dike-2-golonic acid and this form is stable form cannot be big converted and I mean by hydrolysis the vitamin C is lost because in this form from this form it cannot be big converted. Sources of ascorbic acid, important sources of ascorbic acid uh, are distributed everywhere. Uh, actually, ascorbic acid uh, is not that much widely distributed. We saw in our last lecture about vitamin B complex. Ascorbic acid is actually also water soluble. Vitamin, uh, basically, in the classification we mentioned earlier. The vitamins are uh, of two classes, water soluble and uh, fat soluble. And in the fat soluble vitamins, we have basically two types of vitamins. One is uh, vitamin C and other was vitamin B complex. And in the B complex, we studied eight vitamins. And the second is vitamin C. Here, vitamin C is not that much widely distributed as we saw. Uh, for the vitamin B complexes, I mean B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B11, B12. Among plants, its important sources include the fresh fruits, the citrus type of fruits. The fresh fruits are rich uh, sources of ascorbic acid and some vegetables such like uh, vitamin C sources richest source is, is the agrula, uh, that is Malphigia punctifolia, which is containing 1000 to 4000 milligram per 100 gram. This is a very, very high concentration. So it is the richest sources of uh, ascorbic acid. Uh, Malphigia punctifolia, it contains 1000 to 4000 milligram per 100 gram of the fruit. Citrus fruits uh, which are very commonly available include orange, lemon and lime. These are very famous fruits and also the gooseberry, pineapple, guavas, tomato, melons, cabbage and pepper are also rich sources. So these sources are comparatively commonly available to humans and they are commonly used. So we may may not be that much worried if we are taking these things we are getting ascorbic acid new potatoes contain relatively large amounts of potato newly fresh potatoes they are containing uh, high amounts of vitamin c dried legumes and cereals contain very little vitamin c actually they are losing vitamin c during the dried condition so 
dry legumes and uh, cereals they are actually uh, present in the dried form so they contain very uh, low vitamin c dry seeds are actually having no vitamin c but in sprouting the vitamin c reappears this is very important that uh, if dry seeds are taken and they are allowed to sprout during the after sprouting their vitamin c is regained so can be used woody tissues like vitamin c if you uh, have one look again vitamin c is not that much widely distributed just like b complex vitamins uh, we saw but anyway uh, it is present in the variety of sources for example the malphigia punctifolia contain a highest concentration of 1000 to 4000 mg per 100 g similarly the common citrus fruits uh, orange lemon lime pineapple guavas melons etc they are also very rich sources the dry legumes and cereals actually having very low vitamin c dry seeds are devoid of the vitamins uh, c but uh, if they are allowed to sprout their vitamin c is uh, regained woody tissue woody uh, tissues of higher plants actually they are not containing any vitamin c vitamin c uh, is synthesized by most mammals but not by primates such as aphids and men because we saw their well enzyme is lacking in humans animal tissues uh, various glands and organs such as liver adrenal thymus corpus luteum are sources of vitamin c from the animal sources <clears throat> Rich sources are actually liver, adrenal, and thymus, corpus luteum, etc. These are the rich sources from the animal's point of view we can use for vitamin C. Meat actually containing very low concentration of vitamin C, but it must be noted that human milk is three to four times rich source of vitamin C than cow milk. So human milk comparatively contains high content of vitamin C. Vitamin C is absent from fish fats and oil. And uh, actually, we uh, earlier we have noted that fish fat and oil are the rich sources of vitamin A, D, E, and K, uh, the non uh, the, the, the fat soluble vitamins. So vitamin C is not available there. Also, vitamin C is uh, uh, not present or it is not required by the microorganisms so that microorganisms are also cannot be used as a source for extraction vitamin c is a good reducing agent yes this reaction we saw in the metabolism it is lost under oxidizing uh, conditions so if as it is in one in the redox reaction and uh, during heating it is lost so heating might be done with carefully because during hydrolysis, it is converted to diketo form, which is not big convertible. So vitamin C is uh, comparatively sensitive to heating condition, oxidizing condition, actually being exposed to air and heat, it's, uh, it is lost. The human requirements of vitamin C. Uh, is, uh, vitamin C is continuously oxidized in the body, so its daily requirement of vitamin is rather high because we need its uh, continuous supply. The recommended daily dose for children is 40 milligram, but for men and women is 50 to 60 milligram per day. This is comparatively high concentration as uh, we have seen for other vitamins. Uh, for the infants, uh, it is 30 milligram of ascorbic acid that is recommended daily. And for lactating mothers, the concentration may be increased up to 40 milligram per day. Functions of ascorbic acid, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant agent and strengthens the body natural defense and reduces the risk of chronic disease. A very important antioxidant and strengthens the body and natural defenses and so the, the attack of chronic diseases are reduced vitamin c helps manage the high blood pressure so the high blood pressure measures must take citrus fruits for vitamin c it is actually helping control the blood pressure 
Vitamin C actually uh, lower the risk of heart disease definitely if it is controlling the blood pressure. So the chances of heart disease will be uh, decreased. Vitamin C actually reduces blood uric acid and helps prevent gout attacks. It has a good effect on the uric acid too and that's why it, uh, ultimately reducing the chance of gout attacks. Vitamin C helps to prevent iron deficiency. Iron deficiency is in whole Asia. So vitamin C actually helping in the iron uh, demand of the body. Iron is very important because it is used in the uh, globin part of the hemoglobin, which is the part of essential part of the RBCs that is involved on the transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. So very important functions of the vitamin C we studied, that is, it is an antioxidant, so in improving the body defenses, uh, and so chronic diseases are decreased. It is controlling blood pressure, reducing the attacks of heart disease, and also it uh, reduces the blood uric acid level, so gout disease attacks are reduced. And most importantly, vitamin C actually prevents iron deficiency and so there is no iron deficiency in case of vitamin C proper intake. Vitamin C, uh, vitamin C from tissue collagen form. It is forming the tissue collagen or intracellular cement substance. This is a very important function too because it is holding the body together as one unit. Vitamin C uh, also helps a key role in the tyrosine metabolism. Tyrosines are very important amino acid of proteins. Ascorbic acid is involved in the return transport in the microsomal function. However, in none of the biological oxidation system, ascorbic acid has been shown to have any specific coenzyme activity. It is not having any coenzyme activity we saw for the other B complex vitamins, but the important thing it is involved in the electron transport at the microsomal function. But just like uh, just like in other cases, we saw NAD or FAD like type function which were involved at the, in the electron transport, for the electron transportation. Such function is not known for ascorbic acid. Dear student, once again, the Western Todd and GLJN books are recommended. Please uh, uh, elaborate all the points we discussed today have a thorough uh, concept development from these books and uh, uh, expand your uh, your knowledge have a detailed notes preparation and uh, for any confusion we may discuss next time from today i will say bye see you next time allah hafiz